A presidential campaign bus rolled into Lexington tonight, and the candidate who stepped off is probably one you're hearing about for the first time. Libertarian Party nominee Joe Jurgensen is on the ballot in most of the 50 states, including Kentucky. And the senior lecturer of psychology at Clemson University is hoping to share the platform of small government on a national debate stage. LEX 18's Mike Valenti reports. According to the Commission on Presidential Debates, in order to get onto the debate stage, candidates have to be polling at at least 15% in five national polls. Well, Jorgensen is nowhere near that. A CNBC change research poll last month showed Jorgensen polling at just 3%. But Jorgensen is determined to spread her message, whether it's on a debate stage or in front of the old courthouse in Lexington. About 100 of her supporters gathered here tonight to hear from the candidate who advocated for the legalization of marijuana and other drugs, police reform, and the withdrawal of American troops from foreign countries. Jorgensen received her most raucous applause when she railed against what she sees as big government. She said as president, she'd get rid of the Department of Education and the NSA. Historically, it's been incredibly difficult for third party candidates to break through in a general election for president. For example, the last libertarian candidate for president in 2016 was Gary Johnson, the former governor of New Mexico, and a figure who had much higher name recognition than Jorgensen does now. Johnson was able to muster just over 3% of the popular vote nationally. Political analysts saw Johnson and another candidate, Jill Stein, as playing the role of spoilers in 2016. But Jorgensen rejects that characterization. A lot of people are saying, you know what, we don't see a choice right now. That we've got two people who are part of the system. They both want to spend more money. They both want to make decisions for us. And also, neither one of them want to bring the troops home. Seventy-five percent of our volunteers are from outside the party because we're hearing that they just don't like the system. Turning to the pandemic, I asked Jorgensen if she thinks contact tracing and testing should be the responsibility of the federal government or if it should be left up to states. Her answer, the individual. In Lexington, Mike Valenti, LAX 18 News.